The Machine Grapple Strike was one of the first new abilities shown off by Gorilla before the release of Horizon Burning Shores, and is understandable as to why. It's a clear testament of how hard the studio's animators and combat designers work to evolve the game. Watching Aloy perform these impressive acrobatics still hasn't gotten old, even after countless hours of gameplay. But the Grapple Strike is more than just a critical strike with a fresh coat of paint. It has incredible combo potential and some interesting nuances that take it beyond what Gorilla may have ever intended. So let's dive in and learn all that we can about the grapple strike in Horizon Forbidden West. The Machine Grapple Strike is a Burning Shores exclusive ability which allows Aloy to grapple an immobilized machine and pull herself to its location before striking it with her spear. Immobilization types include the knockdown status, shock status, and the tie down state from rope casters. The Grapple Strike icon immediately disappears when the knockdown and shock states end, but it will stick around for another second or two after a machine breaks out of the tie down state. This will be helpful for some combos which I'll come back to in a minute. You'll need to be within roughly 30 meters of a machine to execute a grapple strike and the grapple icon will change letting you know when you're in range. Now the ability has a few enhancements that set it apart from the pre-existing critical strike. For starters, the grapple strike's animation work is far more intricate. It boldly represents Aloy's skill as a warrior and how she's grown during the events of Forbidden West before reaching the burning shores. Plus there's two unique attack animations which will change depending on her position to the machine when the ability is executed. For example, whether she is close or far or if she is above or below. These are purely aesthetic and don't come at any disadvantage to one another, which is great. Another enhancement that sets it apart from the critical strike and also all the other abilities in the game is the inclusion of the quick time event. You're prompted to press R1 when the ring reaches the blue zone. It's not hard to miss at all and when done correctly, Aloy attaches a resonator to the machine, which she can then immediately trigger after she jumps back. Furthermore, the grapple strike itself will see a 25% damage increase over its base damage, which is a nice added bonus. Bonus. With the Enduring Damage bonus and Critical Strike Plus at the maximum of level 4, a base grapple strike that misses the quick time event entirely will deal 450 damage, but a perfect grapple strike that completes the quick time event in the blue zone will deal 563 damage while also attaching a resonator that can then be triggered to bring the total damage output up to roughly 1000 depending on your resonator blast plus level. The frozen status will further increase the grapple strike's damage by an additional 25% if you want the highest damage damage possible without Valor Surges. Now, to achieve Critical Strike and Resonator Blast plus level 4, you want to unlock their respective passive boosts from the Warrior skill tree, as well as equipped an outfit like the Osirum Striker, which has a built-in plus 2 Critical Strike and Resonator Blast perks. It also includes a Resonator Build-Up perk to increase the rate at which Spear Energy builds when performing a Grapple Strike. Alright, before we jump into some combos, I want to briefly mention that the Resonator attachment from the Grapple Strike works independently from your Spear's energy level. Level, meaning you don't need full spear energy to attach one, all you need to do is complete the quick time event. Furthermore, if you do happen to have full energy when performing the grapple strike, the grapple strike attachment won't reset your energy rings. Now you can actually use this to your advantage to very easily attach a second resonator with a follow up aerial heavy attack. This is one of the first combos I'd recommend learning and it's pretty easy to pull off. Simply press the heavy melee attack input shortly after Aloy jumps back from her grapple strike and she'll cancel all that backward momentum before landing the heavy attack and attaching the resonator. Both resonators can then be quickly triggered with a couple shots from a warrior bow. Another thing you could do is combo into an aerial light attack. This one's a bit more tricky to pull off since Aloy continues to carry her momentum after the grapple strike jump, so sometimes she can miss the light attack altogether. But I like this one because if the light attack does connect, the spinning motion that Aloy has from swinging her spear can quickly lead her into a quick draw for then triggering the resonator. But my all-time favorite combo is is the one you'll see me perform pretty often in my gameplay and it's this one. I'll knock down the machine with a power attack and then immediately chain a half moon slash into a jump off and trigger the resonator with a shot from my bow before quickly pressing 
standing jump to go into the grapple strike. The beginning of this combo is pretty straightforward, but for the final part, you'll want to make sure you press the jump input before the arrow triggers the resonator. The resonator blast damage immediately disables the knockdown effect on the machine, which makes the option to grapple strike disappear. Earlier, I mentioned how the grapple strike icon sticks around for an extra second or so after the machine breaks free from the tie down state. This might be a great way to practice if you're having trouble, since the input window for pressing jump after firing the arrow is slightly larger now. Some ammo types like shredders seem to have slightly slower travel speeds compared to bows, so you might find it helpful to use a shredder for practice as well before moving up to a bow. Now, these combos are mainly good for mid-weight machines, but there's one I want to mention that's better suited for heavyweight machines with higher health pools, and it works with weapon techniques that utilize a delayed damage feature. After you get the machine immobilized, perform a weapon technique like splitting spike, and just as the spikes land on the machine, execute the grapple strike to get a pretty cinematic takedown as the spikes explode underneath Aloy before she throws down her spear into the machine to finish them off. Grapple strike chains are the final type of combo I want to talk about, and they're pretty simple. To start, you'll need at least two immobilized machines, generally close to one another. Grapple strike one of the machines while keeping the other in your line of sight, and as soon as Aloy jumps back, press jump to grapple the other machine. You can chain additional grapple strikes if there's more immobilized machines, and if there's a nearby grapple point, Aloy can launch herself from it to then trigger the resonators. If you've got the new elemental spear ability unlocked and equip the Quen Commander outfit, you can use a shock capsule to apply shock damage through the grapple strikes and resonators. It makes grapple chaining back and forth between multiple machines possible, especially with the outfit's built-in elemental spear perk that boosts elemental buildup on melee attacks by two additional levels. Last and certainly not least are Valor Surges to pair alongside the grapple strike. The most obvious choice and the one I'd recommend for most players is Critical Boost. When fully upgraded, Critical Boost increases critical and grapple strike damage by 150%, and if paired with the Frozen status, you'll get an additional 25% damage increase. If you want the highest damage possible with the grapple strike ability, then this is the Valor Surge to go with. You can wipe out a group of mid-weight machines fairly easily with it, or at least deplete a solid portion of their health bar before finishing off any remaining machines with the resonators. Next is the Elemental Fury Valor Surge, which pairs wonderfully with the new Elemental Spear Capsules and the Quen Commander outfit. Like I mentioned earlier, the Shock status can be applied through melee attacks, including the Grapple Strike once you've equipped a Shock Capsule. And with Elemental Fury active, any Elemental buildup will increase by 200%. This allows Aloy to easily shock machines with her melee attacks before chaining Grapple Strikes amongst them without being interrupted since machines will continuously be shocked after each grapple strike. This one takes a bit more finesse to pull off, but it's definitely rewarding once you get it down. And since we're on the topic of shock, I wanted to test out the Hunter's Mark Valor Surge as well. And I found it works especially well with groups of lightweight machines like Leap Lashers, Burrowers, Scroungers, or even Sky Drifters. When activated, you'll be able to mark a handful of machines with your Hunter Bow. Destroying a component on a marked machine deals an additional 300 damage to that specific target, and if one of the marked machines is destroyed, a generous amount of shock damage will chain to the rest of them. Once they're shocked, Aloy can go in and finish them off with a grapple strike. Hunter's Mark has more of a situational use case, especially compared to the other mentioned Valor Surges, but definitely give it a try for yourself and see what you think. The machine grapple strike is just a small testament to Gorilla's dedication for evolving the incredible combat system ever so present in the Horizon series. And like I said earlier, I'm still not sick of watching this ability's polished animation work after countless hours hours of gameplay. I'm hoping the grapple strike is carried over into the next mainline entry of the Horizon franchise as it's one of my all-time favorite abilities in the series. That's going to be a wrap here on this video and I wanted to let everyone know that I will be taking a small break from making Horizon content with the release of Assassin's Creed Mirage and Spider-Man 2 this month. I hope to see you all in those videos but if not no worries I'll be back with more Horizon content during the month of November. And lastly, as always, thanks for tuning in today. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.